Welcome everybody, myself Shivam Rajput back again with CSI and NGRF video series. Today we are going to cover about MGO. This is very important for exam purpose. So now let's talk about it. MGO. MGO means Madden Julian Oscillation. It is an important climate driver of tropical weather around the globe. While El Nino Southern Oscillation and IOD Dipole both changes the Indian climate on seasonal to the annual time scale, this MGO can change uh, Odds having better and drier period on a weekly to the monthly time scale. So, what is MGO? What it means? It is a eastward moving zone of wind clouds that circles the entire globe uh, in the tropical region at around uh, 30 to the 60 days throughout the atmosphere region. Like in atmosphere, it is 30 to the 60 days. While in a case of oceans, it is 60 to 65 days or sometimes 75 days. So this is the period of Madden Julian oscillation. Okay. So let's see about this. So I already uh, told about this, right? This is a eastward moving zone of wind. So here we can see that it is moving from west to east in the tropical region around the globe. Now. We can see here that it is a, a kind of uh, you can say low pressure zone over here. That's why we have cloud, right? That means over here we have right now low pressure zone. Low pressure zone produce convection. Due to convection, we have clouds. That means it is a you can say this MG is a patch of cloud which is moving west to east along with low pressure. Okay. Now, if low pressure is over here, that means high pressure is over here and here. And at the same time, if low pressure is over here, that means convection uh, rainfall is there. Are you getting or not? We know that in this zone, in tropical zone, uh, we have sturdy trade winds, right? Which is coming from east to west. But this MGO is just opposite to that. Here, in the case of MGO, it is moving from west to east. So, you can say that uh, trade winds is coming like this from east to west and MGO is moving like this. But MGO is not present at all time on the globe. It is a site specific, you can say. So, it is moving throughout the globe. So, it produces a low pressure at a certain period, at a certain place. Right now, it is just above the Australian region. So, trade winds over here now weakens due to presence of MGO. Okay. Now, let's see. So, these are associated with heavy rains and intense low pressure. Heavy rains and intense low pressure. Why? We know that if low, low pressure is found over the ocean, that means strong convection is there this due to this strong convection we have a kind of a cumulonimbus clouds we have a kind of a thunderstorms over there now due to this thunderstorms cumulonimbus clouds we have a large precipitation so whenever it passes through a region this region is affected by heavy rainfall lightning effect low pressure and all getting and in the same time nearby regions are associated with uh, high pressure regions you can say anti-cyclonic condition so here we have high pressure region here we have high pressure region high pressure high pressure that means over here we have anti-cyclonic condition anti-cyclonic condition and here cyclonic condition if it is over the ocean let's say okay now here we can see that the ahead and behind are the dry regions. I already told you that if high pressure region is there, that means there is no convection at all. There is no vertical upliftment of air. There is a sinking of air. And a sinking of air never forms a cloud. Right? So here we can see that due to this uh, intense precipitation, the region becomes uh, green. That means uh, vegetation is more over that period of time. At the same time, here 
high pressure region that means no cloud no cloud means drought like conditions you can say uh, if there is a monsoon and uh, suppose here we have monsoon monsoonal trough is over here at the same time ngo comes there so suppose we have monsoonal trough monsoonal trough means what heavy precipitation monsoonal trough and right now due to the ngo it coincide with this thing high pressure zone now due to this high pressure zone there is a break in the monsoon right so it uh, it cause break in the monsoon it cause if it is uh, over a uh, area for a large amount of time that means it produce a drought like condition over there dryness will be more anti cyclonic condition will be more now monsoon trough a region of heavy precipitation we know that these are the reason where heavy precipitation what is this monsoon trough it is basically coincides with the itcj if itcj is there just below the uh, trough region that means strong convergence is there more the convergence more the evaporation more the evaporation forms more clouds and heavy precipitation will be there so if it coincide with monsoonal trough that means uh, over that period of time we have a flood like condition right now it is a monsoonal trough only but in the next photo here we can see that it coincides with ngo suppose this uh, uh, this low pressure zone or monsoonal trough is over the australia at the same time this ngo comes from the indian ocean and coincides with this low pressure zone now this low pressure zone along with this ngo produce a intense clouds already clouds are there due to this thing monsoonal trough now due to this ngo clouds are intensified are you getting so if it are uh, if it is intensified that means the the nature of precipitation will uh, will change no uh, right now it is uh, truly uh, you can say cyclonic rainfall you can say it's a heavy uh, supercell kind of thunderstorm produce over there this kind of things will happen again uh, these symbols are basically uh, symbols of cyclone we know that if clouds are there that means at the earth surface we have low pressure low pressure means high temperature and high temperature if it is more than 27 degree celsius that is very conducive for the formation of cyclones we know that if cyclone is there that means maybe there is a presence of ngo it is possible it is quite possible we know that for the formation of uh, cyclones we need 27 degrees celsius plus temperature right and ngo is also associated with this kind of temperature but the thing is if ngo is very close to the equator we know that at equator the coriolis force is zero so cyclones can't produce cyclones only produce if ngo is away from the equatorial region away from some 5 degree north or 5 degree south in that case we have cyclones associated with ngo means just below this clouds we have cyclonic conditions and here we have anti cyclonic condition here and here okay now what is the effect of ngo on el nino we know that during el nino period the whole trade winds reverse right means during el nino period winds move from west to east and even in the ngo winds moves from west to east and it completes a cycle in 30 to 60 days in the oceans and on the land or uh, sorry 30 to 60 days on the atmosphere or in ocean it is from 60 to 75 days this is the cycle means uh, if suppose this is the globe and it uh, this ngo starts over the indian ocean it comes back to the indian ocean in 30 to 60 days in atmosphere in ocean surface it comes back to the indian ocean region in 60 to 75 days now here we can see that it is moving from west to east right this el nino during el nino period the whole trade winds reverse and in the case of ngo this trade winds also reverse right 
So due to the reversal of both the winds, this Alino period intensifies. Now, what is the consequence of this Alino period along with the NGO? We know that during Alino period, the rainfall is high over the Peru Chile region. There is a flood like condition in Atacama and there is a drought like condition in the maritime islands near Australia, near Darwin, in Indian, even in Indian subcontinent monsoon weekends. Now it is associated with NGO. Due to the NGO association with Alino, these things become highly intensified. Means in that case, uh, in that year, India's, uh, India and the nearby countries like Australia, Java, Sumatra, they suffer from the heavy drought like conditions. There is a forest fire in this part near Java, Sumatra, and uh, Indian subcontinents. While in the Atacama Desert, there is a flash floods, uh, very uh, like you can say uh, the rainfall, the amount of rainfall is very high over there. So, overall, it is not conducive for Indian monsoon for Indian climate if MGO is associated with El Nino. It helps to reverse the trade winds. Same year, it weakens the La Nina. La Nina is what? La, in the case of La Nina, we have Western Pacific pool near the Darwin region near Australia and cold water is near the Peru Chile. So, uh, over there, there is a pooling here down valley. Now, during this MGO period, and uh, at the same time, we have La Nina in the Pacific Ocean. We know that La Nina is produced due to this to west movement of winds, right? During La Nina period, trade winds are intensified. They are moving at a very high speed from eastern region to the western region, and it drags all the warm water to this Australian part. Now, due to this MJO, the movement of to westward movement of wind becomes very weak because see this MJ is moving from west to east and this during La Nina condition it is moving from east to west so both are opposite to each other no now due to this there is a uh, very uh, you can say there is no uh, no formation of WPP WPP means Western Pacific Pool so here this WPP uh, never intensifies. That means during NGO period, La Nina weekends. So again, it is not conducive for the uh, Indian summer monsoon, southwest monsoon, even northeast monsoons. So this is all about NGO. Hope you like it. That's it for the today.